Water signs. This is your segment. Uh, what are the consequences for tapping into your Akashic record? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. <clears throat> you have individuals that's getting readings done on you, pulling up your natal birth charts, and just be mindful. Unless you give out that pertinent information of your birth certificate, month, day, and year, and time of your birth, then the only ones that will have that information are people within your in your immediate family, like your mom, your dad, your siblings, your brothers, your sisters. You know, people you grew up with, your great aunties, your aunties, your grandmothers, your great grandmother. Okay. It can be as far as um, any government institution or anybody that works at a government institution that has your natal birth chart and they are pulling it up on like this online astrology.com sort of things like cafe astrology and stuff like that so let's look into you water signs cancer scorpio pisces what are the consequences for tapping into the acoustic records of the cancer scorpio pisces water elements for june 2022 Hey, that car wanted to come out. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, we're going to look at, take a look. What are the consequences for tapping into the Akashic records of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces without their consent? We got the fool card. So we see that they, a group of people or an individual is being completely foolish to do so. They took that leap of faith and tapped into your Akashic Records water sign. We have the temperance reverse. Could have been dealing with an Aquarius, Sagittarius, Libra Taurus. We got Empress reversed. We got King of Pentacles, Aries Taurus Energy, and then we got the Ace of Cups, Capricorn Energy in the reverse. Hmm. Let me get my water. Being foolish enough to tap into your Akashic records, there will be an emotional imbalance and mental imbalance within this individual. Anything and everything in their life will be off balance. If they try to take a leap of faith, it's going to go wrong. Others that have been tapping in, um, I see, if, especially if this was a false empress trying to tap into the Akashic records of an Aries or a Taurus. They're miscarrying, okay? They're going to lose their house, home, car, business. They're going to lose a lot because, see, they were living in luxury, right, as the empress, having all things beautiful within their home life. They're, they're going to literally lose all, all of that. For some of them homeless, okay? They're going to be forced to hold on to their money. All right. If they've been living with a significant other, that significant other is going to turn against them and hate them. They're not going to have no new beginning in love whatsoever. We got the tower card reversed. Uh, Scorpio Aries energy. Ooh. They're not going to be able to have any clarity in their life. They're, every, every time they try to build on something, it's going to be a, 
a fake ass foundation, a faulty foundation. They're not going to have no success and victory in any area of their life, love, work, or life. Take it how it resonates. This is the consequence for tapping into the water signs, Akashic Records, without their consent. They're going to suffer a deep amount of depression here. Leo energy could have been a Leo that have been doing this, tapping in. We got Taurus and we got Leo and then we got Libra. Sagittarius. And then we got Aries, Pisces energy. Eight of Pentacles. This is going to be re repetitious for them. No success. Um, I don't know why I'm getting blocked corners. Maybe Spirit meant to say blocked doors. Doors being blocked. Repeatedly blocked opportunities. Not being able to see their way through the fog. Not having no success and no victory. No one that to help them. Whatsoever. Losing money. I heard losing money, losing sleep. People are going to walk away from them. Nobody's going to want to invest with them because they leave, they, leave, they leave a bad taste in people's mouths. They're being blocked off from a lot of opportunities here. They're being blocked off from having babies, having money, having happiness, having love, new, having new love. They're being blocked on all areas and all levels. So tapping into your Akashic Records water signs. Anybody getting readings on you, unbeknownst to you, without your permission, water signs. That could be your mother, your father. Your brother, your sister, your siblings, period, right? Your cousins, your aunties, your uncles, near and far. If they've been getting readings on you, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, anywhere you have water placements, these are the consequences that they shall suffer. People walking away from them. Even the love of their life will walk away from them, taking the love with them. I see money leaving their lives. I see I see love leaving their lives. Some of them are with some of them could be married actually. And I see the man being very selfish and hateful towards whoever this feminine energy is that's a, a Libra or a Taurus, someone arising. This man is holding his money back from this feminine energy and saving it. Uh constantly. Um this is specific for somebody out there. Constantly and repetitiously working. This person would rather be at work than be around this person because this person is pregnant. So if this uh, person that tapped into your Akashic Records, Water Signs, is pregnant, the person that they are living with, uh, that, that was financing them and giving them money, is, is taking away their love and their money from this individual. I don't see this person leaving them yet, but that's the first start of it, right? Um... The person that tapped into your cosmic records also has no, like their guardian angel completely left them open. Completely left them open. So they're not protected. They're going to suffer heartbreak from third party situations. Okay. With the Page of Cups, this could be a young water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, that's in their 20s. Doesn't have to be, but this person could have been tapping into your... You could have another water sign younger than you. If you're a little bit older, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this is a young water sign, Page of Cups, reverse that was tapping in. This person tapped in because they were very jealous of you. They were the third party in this situation. Okay. They're mad because they were being left out in the cold five of pentacles here. I'm reading the bottom of the deck, y'all, if y'all don't see. We got the page of cups reversed to the three of swords to the page of wands to the five of pentacles. Yeah, this person was left out in the cold, this third party. So that's why they're trying to get readings on you. Clarify the food card, temperance reverse, empress reverse. This person or a group of people could be completely off balance. 
They may even suffer from a uh, drinking problem. This is the consequences for tapping into your Akashic records here. They got a lot of drama around them that will block their new beginning. There's a lot of pettiness around them. Leo energy could have been a Leo that was tapping in to your Akashic records. And the consequences is that they lose everything. That they receive a lot of a karma through drama. Five people are here fighting. Okay. At one point in time, this person may have had you in competition, fighting for their love. Now they're losing it. <laughs> they got people walking away from them. Okay. This could be five people that they drink with. That they stepped out on you on in some situation. However that go. Eight of Cups reverse. They're going to be stuck. And stagnant, not able to move forward where they thought they were going to move forward, but they're about to be stuck because there's some sort of imbalance going on with them here, which creates a lot of arguments and a lot of fights and a lot of drama here. A lot of gaslighting I see as well going on. Four Swords, they're stuck in a head. Four Swords reverse, my bad. Four Swords reverse to the Eight of Cups. They're confused as to why they're stuck. They, they're not even aware that they're stuck because they ta they tried to tap into your Akashic Records or they went to someone, paid someone to tap into your Akashic Records. It hit them and that person. Okay, clarify the Empress reversed, the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups reversed. If they're in a situation and if they're a third party, okay, there's heartbreak here. This Empress is very heartbroken over this King of Pentacles because he pulled his love back. So they're experiencing losses and love as well. That's their consequence. Yeah. To a source. This person may have been a secret side piece that was tapping into your Akashic records. Or this could have been you, a secret side piece, doing it to somebody. And the consequences here is that this person got his, this King of Pentacles, got his back to the Empress Reverse. Not even interested in this person. They're only interested in their money. They're not even interested in love. Someone is pulling their love back. So the consequences is no love. No love. No love. No love. Someone was trying to pull the wool over someone's eyes that made someone leave them. This could have been even as far as a lie. Because that's the two of swords. Someone could have even been lying. Tapping into someone's Akashic records. Getting readings on this individual. Doing astrology reports on an individual that has nothing to do with them. Only to use it against a person they know nothing about. To lie to that person's ex that they are with. Follow me here. Whoever this empress reverses with. This guy. This king of pentacles. Aries Taurus energy. This is somebody's ex that this empress took from someone. Right? This empress reverse went and got readings done. On this king of pentacles. And the person that they left for this empress reverse. Okay? And they tried to use the information by lies to a source, secrets, lies, all of that, against the person that is the ex to the King of Pentacles. Right? They tried to. Tried to pull the wool over the King of Pentacles' eyes. Okay? And the consequences for tapping in to the King of Pentacles' Akashic Records or the King of Pentacles' ex's Akashic Records, which would be you, Water Signs, is heartbreak. Disarray, disappointment, separation, okay? Getting cut out. Someone got cut out. Now they're in their head, stuck and stagnant. Knight of Swords. This is coming fast towards... Whoever this is, their consequences is coming fast to them. There's a quick breakup. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Someone's no longer attracted to one. They're running away from them. <laughs> 
Yeah, the Ace of Cups is reversed with this. That's the consequence of someone running away from whoever was trying to tap into your Akashic Records. Someone doesn't love someone. Love is being taken away. Ace of Cups in the second deck. Reversed. Knight of Swords. Lovers reversed. Ace of Cups reversed. Someone or a group of people is experiencing the fact that they don't have a soulmate. Recognize the real. Okay, the real on the real. Someone is running away from someone that is not their soulmate. Severing ties with them, cutting them out, separating from them. And whoever's on the bad end of the stick tapping into people's Akashic Records, this is the one that's stuck in their head, heartbroken, stuck and stagnant over the pettiness, jealousy, and arguments. Empress reverse. Because there's an imbalance this person's dealing with as well. Clarify the tower reverse. Six of Wands reverse. Sun reverse. Consequences for tapping into Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Akashic Records is depression. Closed doors. No opportunities for work. With the Sun card reversed to the Eight of Pentacles. And Nine of Pentacles. Someone's going to be uh, basically without an opportunity for a job. So if someone was out there trying to find work. They won't be able to find it. Those doors will be closed. They won't They won't be successful whatsoever. We got the four cups reversed to the tower reversed. Six of wands reversed and the sun reversed. Clarify tower reversed. Six of wands reversed and the sun reversed. What is this? What is this? Yep, somebody has to accept the fact that they're going to be left out in the cold. No money asked out. Uh, karma for this is experiencing homelessness because they got exposed. Seven of Swords reverse. All of their lies are coming out, coming to the surface. Whatever they were trying to hold back is coming out. Okay? If they were... If, they were lying on looking in your Akashic records to try to use it against you in some way, shape, or form with regards to lying on you to your ex or to your person, whatever, right? Or it could be a job situation where someone ran to the manager and lied about you. It's the same person that was tapping into your Akashic record because you may have slipped up and said, yeah, my birthday is June 29th, 1993, something like that. And I was... And I'm of this. You know what I'm saying? They use that against you to try to get you fired in some way, shape, or form. So you don't have a job. But I see you still have your job. Or you're still working for those that's working. Or for those that get money as like an entrepreneur. Or those that get money on uh, disability, SSI, which, or veterans benefits. Whichever way you get your money. They weren't able to affect it. But I tell you one thing. The opportunities for them to work on anything work-wise, employment-wise, even if they were up here trying to, like, open up their own business, be an entrepreneur, it's not working. The sun reverse is blocking that out. Okay? Opportunities blocked. They're not going to have no success whatsoever. A lot of arguments in public. Public arguments for some of them embarrassing themselves, of course, right? Clarify the uh, Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles reverse. Some of them were already in a committed relationship outside of you, water signs, and they were constantly looking at your birth chart, is what I'm hearing. Repeatedly looking at your birth chart, repeatedly getting tarot card readings done on you, divinatory readings done on you. That's tea leaf readings, uh, tarot card readings, uh, scrying, anything, right? Mm -hmm. Some of them could be experiencing headaches because they were being nosy looking at your Akashic records. We got the page of swords here. The Nine of Wands. 
and the five of swords. Yeah, headache, scratching their head, trying to figure shit out. Trying to figure why you still working. <laughs> yeah, definitely. If they were repeatedly doing this, they're going to be repeatedly losing money. Them and whoever they're with, if they are in a relationship with anybody, okay? Whoever they're in a relationship with is about to walk away. Like not in their ninth month of pregnancy. Whoever this person is with, this King of Pentacles to this Empress Reverse, in this Empress Reverse ninth month of pregnancy, this King of Pentacles is about to walk away. He ain't got no love for this false Empress. This person could be definitely a son in Leo and have earth placements, Le uh, Libra and uh, Taurus in their chart. This could be a Leo that this King of Pentacles was with. Consequences for them tapping into your Akashic Records water sign with the Page of uh, Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Five of Swords. We got swords here. It's a lot of mental energy here. It's clarifying the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles, right? Hmm. Yeah, this is giving me someone was doing spell work. I see a book here. Someone thought they had a bright idea to use whatever book they had, Book of Shadows, against you while looking into your Akashic Records. So I'm getting like this is someone heavily into whatever their craft is. They do it on a daily basis, right? Could be this King of Pentacles, this Aries Taurus energy that repetitively does shit. Ain't got no love for nobody. They got the love for the money and no, nobody else, right? Well, their money's blocked now. And they're scratching their head, trying to figure out why, because this person was working with spirits. Five spirits and the shadow man. Mm -hmm. Repetitively working with spirits and the shadow man from the shadow realm. They're being blocked. They're also being blocked from watching you or even tapping into your Akashic records as well. This person has a lot of people walking away from them. They're going to experience homelessness as well because their, their strategy of trying to lie or cheat you out of anything or steal from you is being exposed. Water signs. They're being exposed. Some of you, this is a third party that your person left you for. That was tapping into your Akashic Records unbeknownst to you without your damn permission. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, 23. 23 on the clock, y'all. They're going to experience a lot of losses. Love, work, and life. The person that they're with is about to walk away from them. The minute they give birth to that baby, they were sneaking, they were lying. About you, against you, for whatever reason. I don't know. Some people that's to me. Some people that's with other people's exes, and they got your name in their mouth, and you're not even with that person, but you do have kids by that person, or maybe you don't have kids with that person. But the reason for then their your name in their mouth is because they're very insecure. It's an insecure person who has low self esteem. And that's to me nothing to laugh at because I feel sorry for people that do that. That you gotta. Mention my name to my ex, but you with my ex. So why are you mentioning my name to my ex? Do you know when you mention my name or the collective's name to an ex of theirs, it makes the ex remember and think about that person? Do you even know this? Heavy Leo energy here was tapping into your Akashic Records. This could have been your father or your mother. Take it how it resonates. But like I said, it's someone close to you, water signs. What are the consequences? Someone definitely went to someone. Heavy Leo. Leo. Damn it. Excuse me. Heavy uh, Taurus and heavy Libra. Taurus, oh, it was a Taurus tapping into y'all heavy. This was a Taurus, y'all. 
some of y'all may have been living with this individual who has court issues now or they have a court case going on where they're about to be left out in the cold heavy gemini energy someone's getting cut out and found out they have a lot of burdens to bear sagittarius energy burdens and responsibilities feeling overworked For some of you, this person went to a high priest to do uh, some sort of um, tarot reading over you to find out about your destiny. And this tar this tarot card reader is is blatantly tired of this person coming back to them. This person is constantly coming back to this high priest. It's male energy here. One more for the water signs. What are the consequences? Boom. Yup. What I tell you? At the bottom of the deck. Tarot moment. Everything's crumbling for this person. I'm putting it right up top. Let me separate these real quick. So you can see at the bottom of the deck, that tower is here for them. We got the higher font. We have justice. Y'all will be receiving justice, and your justice for the consequence of this person tapping in is homelessness. They're going to be chasing them behind you for your finances, for your stability. This person is going to be chasing behind you. They're going to have a lot of financial hardships. They're going to be feeling isolated. Could be a Gemini you're dealing with. Definitely Gemini. person that you once were attracted to. This person may have been a heavy influence on you through temptation. But this person also has someone else beside you linked to them as well. That person also left them. This person's dealing with court issues, like I fucking said. Libra energy. There's a lot of air and earth up in here. Two of Swords reverse. Secrets are out about this Gemini you were dealing with. All right. This is the consequences for them tapping into your Akashic Records water signs. All right. You're finding out that this person's karma is they're going to be left in the dust and cut out. Cut out. They're going to be isolated, facing their own problems by them damn selves. Nothing in their life is moving fast anymore. It's moving slow. Like I said, you could have been living with this person. This person put their burdens on you. Some of you, the person you were living with was the one tapping into your Akashic Records. This person could secretly behind your back read tarot cards and you don't know it, water signs. Okay, or they could have went to somebody behind your back to read tarot cards against you and you don't know water signs. Either way, you're receiving karmic justice. Scales are balanced. We balance out. You're going to find out the truth about this individual in a minute. All right? Uh, nothing is um working in this person's life nothing is going uh in their favor with the knight of swords reverse to the five of pentacles here this tells me that money is slow for this individual here all right um there's people around them blocking off communication around them okay this person is suffering at night this, if you're still in the house with this person and you know you know just 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 watch Especially if you live with this person. Just watch them. This is very codependent energy here. They depend on everybody's finances and stability. This person's in their head up at night. They can't sleep. Like I said, you could be dealing with a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. You could feel like someone, uh, not someone. You may feel like this person is your soulmate. Uh, no. They come off like that, though. Because they 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 charm you. They use temptation to charm you. Confirmation. With the seven of pentacles reverse, every seed that they planted is not working out for the best of their knowledge. All right, every investment made, every resources that was used, that they thought would re that they would get back and return on their investments, they're not even getting that. They're losing money. The two of swords, they're being found out. Their secrets are coming out. This is their consequences, too. Their secrets are coming out. They've been spending a lot of money on a, another lover at night. 
And now they're getting left behind for it. That's the consequences. And boom, Ten of Pentacles reverse. They're losing it all, money-wise, too. Hierophant reverse to the Justice card and Five of Pentacles. Consequences for tapping into Kashuk Records. Yeah. Six of Cups reverse. Friend, family member, relative. Nine of Wands. There's no good memories with this person. This person had a bad childhood. Two of Wands reverse. They always choose the wrong path to go down and it leaves them out in the cold. Because they're working magic. The magician card here with the death card. Okay, they may have even been doing death spells on them too. Okay. We got Aquarius energy here, Queen of Swords. We got the Sun card, could have been dealing with a Leo as well, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Pisces, Aries individual. Mm -mm -mm. This person chooses wrong every time. They always tap into people's Akashic records. You're not the first one. They always do this to people they run into or come in contact with. And when they tap into people's classic records and maybe find out about what's going on with them they try to use energy to manipulate what's going on in that person's life and it always leaves them out in the cold you're getting karma justice for this though for real this person uh karm karmic justice would be that they are in process of possibly getting locked up nine of wands This person know they're being left out in the cold. That's their consequences. So they're trying to devise a plan of how to resurrect the situation where they can come back. And they're doing magic, by the way. This could be, like I said, a Leo that you're dealing with. They're sitting back thinking on it. Be mindful of your energy around you this, at this time. Uh, water signs. Ooh. Yeah, because look. Two of Swords Reverse. Secrets coming out, they're getting cut out. Five Pentacles again in this deck. Left out in the cold. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, they just want to release their burdens on somebody. They're plotting and planning, watching you from a distance. Some of you, they don't have to even live with you. Some of them could be at a distance. Whoever these relatives is, whoever this uh, family member is, whoever these friends are, whoever this is to you. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Yeah, they're they're confused. They're in a mental state of confusion. They're also blocked from you. So whatever plan it is, they they trying to plot. They're blocked. Knight of Swords reverse to the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Wands clarified by the Two of Swords reverse, Five of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and the Ace of Swords reverse. This person is all up in their head, confused, trying to devise a plan. How to come out of the cold. Mm -hmm. Empress reverse. Taurus Li Libra. Taurus energy here. This person lacks creative abilities. They lack creative ideas. See when you have a, 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 a rich and fertile imagination. You're able to create your world. And be the captain of your ship. This person doesn't have a fertile imagination. Or bone in their body with that Empress reverse. They don't. Strength card. They hide, they throw stones and hide their hand, this person. They try to act all innocent, but they're not. They really that line underneath with that strength card. This person may like stuffed animals. They may also wear a heart locket around their neck. They also may have a tattoo on their left arm of infinity sign. And a tattoo on like their their hand, this part of their hand. Whoever this is you're dealing with, feminine energy here. Again, there's that Libra Leo energy, Aquarius energy. 
Seven of Pentacles reverse to the Ten of Pentacles. They're losing everything. They're losing their marriage. They're losing their home. They're losing their car. They're losing their children. They're losing their pets. Seven of Wands. Seven of Pentacles reverse to the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Which would be the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Nothing's working out for them. Well, I say Knight of Swords reverse in this deck. Everything is slow for this individual. Or stop. I just heard stop, not slow. It's not slowed down. It's stopped. And they're up at night in their head while they're losing a vast amount of money. Some of you, this person could be a gambler. Others of you, this person likes to spend their money on other lovers. Nonetheless, this person's tapping into your Akashic Records, and these are the consequences that they must face. Blocked opportunities. Ace of Wands reversed. Mm -hmm. Blockages to every area of their life known to them. A lot of blockages. Blockages to their creative abilities as well. So if this person was the type to make up creative stories or lie, blocked. Any black magic they were sending to you, blocked. <laughs> <laughs> what else is the consequences so I can get out of here? Too many. One more card, please, Holy Spirit. What else is the consequence? Yeah, they're they're blocked and stuck in their own toxicity here with this devil card. Capricorn energy could be dealing with the Capricorn. Heavy Leo Taurus energy, Capricorn energy. I see a lot of earth here. And then I see air. I see a lot of earth and air energy here. Four of Wands. Yeah, they're about to lose their foundation. Well, I tell you, they're about to lose their home. I said it with the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Seven to the Ten of Pentacles breaks down into an Eight of Pentacles reverse. They're losing their job. They're losing their home. They're losing their spouse. They're losing their child. They're losing on uh, all levels for tapping in, trying to use your record against you, your Akashic record against you. Look, Four of Wands, they're also losing what they thought was their twin flame confirmation. With that being said, this is your reading water signs.